And News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell joins us live at Mount Juliet Elementary School this morning. So Aaron, will kids need their mask on the bus today? Well, Rebecca, that's optional. That will be up to the parents to decide that for their children. So the district is excited to be starting the school year on time. But something else that they're doing this year is they will try to do that socially distance of about three feet. They have about 250 kids in their virtual academy. So socially distancing will be a little more difficult than the past school year. Now, because of the threat of COVID-19, Wilson County Schools will continue to disinfect high-touch surfaces like playground equipment, and drinking fountains and school buses. Now, the school district's public information officer, Bart Barker, says making sure kids have a quality education is a top priority. With well over half of their teachers and staff being vaccinated, they feel this school year is off to a better start already. No one has that crystal ball to say what will it look like uh, a month, two months, three months down the road. We just don't know. But what we do know is, is what we've done being proactive uh, with vaccinations in the past and our, and our procedures and protocols and, and practicing those and carrying those out, uh, we're much more efficient and better equipped today. Now, Barker wants to remind parents and guardians just to be a little patient this morning as you're bringing your child to school or taking them to the bus stop. And they, he says the best thing that parents can do ahead of this new school year is if your child feels sick or they're experiencing any symptoms, do not bring them to school. Just let them stay at home to recover there. That way they cannot spread a virus to anyone else. Reporting live here in Mount Juliet, Aaron Cantrell, News Channel 5.